This is Laura GB, and today we're going to build a menu component. So here we are in our app, and I've got three screens that I just want to put a menu so that I can navigate between these menu down the left hand side. So straight to components, and we're going to add a new one. I'm going to rename it to be menu. And we're going to, so we want to pass into here the list of our menu items and which screen they should navigate to. So let's put in a new custom property. We're going to call it menu items. Keep going down. It's an input and uh, slightly more importantly, it's not table, it's a, sorry, it's not text, it's a table. And let's click create. So now we need to put in some example data to go into there so it knows the data types. So I'm gonna take everything out of those squiggly brackets inside that table function. And we're gonna put in, the first column is gonna be menu text. So this is the text that's gonna be displayed. Second column is going to be the menu screen, the screen that it's going to go to. So I'm going to put in app dot um, active screen, and that allows you to have a screen variable type, which is quite cool. So that set up one of my inputs coming in, and I'm then going to come into here, and I'm just going to resize my app. So my width over here on the left hand side. I'm just going to change to be 200, just so it looks right, okay? And then we're going to insert a gallery, and I'm going to go for a blank vertical. So, and ignore the data, the data source for the moment. Let's just resize it a second. So, 0x, 0y, the width is going to be parent.width, the height is going to be parent dot height. So there we are, my gallery fills the whole thing. So let's get back to that items. So I click on data source and it would give, if I go, if I do the drop down on data source, it's asking for a data source that I haven't got. But I have got in my component a input that's coming in. So instead of customer gallery sample, I'm going to put in menu, which is the name of my component, dot menu items okay so that gives me that part so now let's zoom in a little bit on this gallery and let's edit so let's resize that to be a lot smaller so that's my individual item in my in my menu and what we're going to put into there is we're going to put in um, a text label so let's go for the plus text label and drag it into there. And again, I'm just quickly going to do some fixing. And a width is going to be parent. Don't go for width and height because that causes you problems later. Go for parent template width. And height is going to be parent height note see that's where it goes wrong not parent height parent template height okay so that fixes that part and we are also going to put in the text that's in there okay so this item dot menu text that's right so that's what we want okay so that's given me that part now i want it that when you click on that so let me just quickly just check i'm in the right place when I'm on that label, okay, I want the action to be to on select is to navigate to um, this item dot menu screen, comma, and let's go for screen transition none close the bracket okay so that's put in those right so that's first stage I've got it that it will navigate 
I put things in there. So I'm just going to quickly go back into my screens and zoom out a little bit because I zoomed in just a little bit. There we go. And we're going to insert my custom um, component and I'm just going to put it so that it is there. Right. Now, what I'm going to do on my app start is I am going to create a collection. So let's just quickly build that code. I will speed this up. So there we are. We have a collection there called CC menu and I'm just going to run that. OK, so now I can go back on to my component, my menu items is going to be equal to CC menu and I can press play and click on my items and that takes me to the right screen. So let's just go back to home and I'm just going to nick that for a second. I'm going to do a trick that I saw on um, Twitter just yesterday. If you times your X and your Y by one, so therefore your X and Y are now a formula, I can now copy that, go to my next screen and paste it, and it appears in the same place, which if you've done copying and pasting before, they don't. So there we are, I now have a menu that I can click on to go around them. But I haven't got the highlighting happening here. So we're just going to do that as a quick extra on the end of this. So I'll go back into my component and we're going to go for our the fill of this of this text. So what I'm going to do is onto my component, I'm going to add in a new custom property that is going to be called brand color oh I should give credit for that hint I just gave about copying and pasting and that is Sancho who is another person if you aren't following on Twitter you should be I will put links to both him and Brian um, into the description at the bottom and so brand color should be a color that you are posting in and click create. And for the sake of keeping this nice and quick, we're going to put in some, let me put in 200 into there and 200 into there. What kind of color does that give me? A revolting yellow. We'll cope. So that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to go back to my label here. And I'm going to go for the fill of that label. We're going to put in a quick if. So if this item dot menu screen equals app dot got to put a capital A on app behaves a lot better if you do that um, active screen so if, if we're on that screen okay then let's make it menu dot brand color otherwise let's make it RGBA what it was before and close bracket okay so there we are we can see it's gone yellow we've only got one item in here so therefore it's going to be yellow okay so let's go back to my screen it's revolting yellow by the way please don't pick that as your color but into here oh i've put in black into there my apologies let me just quickly go and fix that do you know what we're going to cheat and just fix that by putting in a zero that'll solve that problem so back to my screens Zooming in and out and zooming out is a lot here. 
So let's press play. And there we are. We have a menu which we can put down there as our component to navigate around. So that was me creating a menu component with great hips from Brian Dang and Sancho. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now. <laughs>